Before we let you shovel cardboard covered in sugar down your throat for breakfast, let's talk about the dark history that is Kellogg's. Around the turn of the century, John Harvey Kellogg, inventor of Kellogg's, realized too many kids were chopping the morning wood. His solution to that problem was breakfast cereal. Oh, sweet Jesus, God bless the little people. He thought that meat and overly flavorful foods increased sexual desire, and that plainer foods, especially cereal nuts, could curb it, i.e. how Frosted Flakes came about to keep your dick from frosting anything. Now, John was a fairly strange dude. He never consummated his marriage, and he and his wife slept in separate bedrooms like a sitcom from the 1950s. What's that? What's that? Kellogg wrote a book in which 39 symptoms of someone plagued by masturbation were laid out. These included mood swings, bashfulness, Boldness, bad posture, still joints, fondness for spicy things, acne, palpitations, and epilepsy. For boys, he suggested threading silver wire through the foreskin to prevent erections and cause irritation. For girls, he advocated and sometimes employed an application of carbolic acid to the clitoris to burn and discourage touching it. He thought burning off your fucking clitoris was a good idea. Kellogg formulated three different healthy eating ideas, two of which are breakfast staples today. The first is what we know as granola. The second is the slightly less popular yogurt enema. So while he was so adamantly against sex, he was all for shooting a gooey white product up your butt. <laughs> William Kellogg, John Kellogg's brother, began adding sugar to the cereal and focusing on commercial and financial objectives rather than on healthier religious benefits. The brothers parted ways and Kellogg's Corn Flakes as we know it now was born. Kellogg's has all natural and nothing artificial printed on the boxes, which may be stretching the truth. A better disclaimer here would be, it's actually edible. <laughs> Man, all I want to do is eat. What does he want me to say? Aaron Paul would go on to have an illustrious acting career, which included reenacting this exact scene several times. In November of 2013, Kellogg's tweeted, One retweet equals one breakfast for a vulnerable child. Or in other words, if you don't retweet this, a needy child will go hungry. Kellogg's has a track record of strange television ads, including the racist stereotype. Mm -hmm -hmm. Today, so I have exciting story to tell. The Never Sleep Again. Breakfast! Take it from Carinkles, that's me. It's so good, I crinkle every time I eat it. Honey and sugar make it different and wonderful. And finally, the I belong in a mental institution. Oh, I feel great. By the way, I feel great. You're hot and I feel great. 